the gas prices are on everyone's minds and it's above four dollars in most areas now and I'm sure everyone's thinking well when is it going to reach five dollars and um, I told my mom about how uh, fashion rotates over the decades I said well now it's time for us to rotate um, <laughs> you know and go back to horse and buggy and uh, she laughed about that but this video is called money for gas and what I realized a short while while I was living in England is that here in America um, we really do have much more opportunity and many more choices than other places in the world and just by my own realizations and um, returning back to the United States and and noticing that how much wasteful our society is here and what can we do about it now I have a couple of practical ideas I hope you don't click the X in this video <laughs> because um, I'd really like you to hear them um, money for gas um, now we are spending a lot more and I know when I lived in New York I spent a lot I made a lot but I spent a lot and there were a lot of opportunities that I didn't care about and um, because I think I was living a pretty good and comfortable life and really didn't care about the little things and well, now that gas is so expensive, the little things truly mean a lot. And I just figured that, I mean, obviously everyone knows about them, but perhaps we haven't thought about them for quite some time. So here are some ideas. Money for gas. Well, first of all, there are several you know, U.S. states with container deposits, the plastic bottles that... Um, we pay extra when we purchase and then there are states that if you return the bottle you get your money back well uh, this includes California Connecticut Delaware Hawaii Iowa Maine Massachusetts Michigan New York Oregon and Vermont and basically um, there has been a recent study about how many plastic bottles that families are going through and they end up in the landfills and one of the reasons why um, this container deposit uh, became in effect was um, to keep bottles out of our landfills and on the street and in lakes and streams and basically it's to encourage recycling so, you know, for every five cents or even ten cents um, in California, for instance, and in, in Michigan, um, this is a lot of money. This is money that can go toward gasoline. Um, so another thing would be to ride share. And it is a possibility. It's a... Uh, I know being an American, you know, if I want to go somewhere, I want to do it myself, I go when I want to go, but what about commuting to work? What about ride sharing? It is a possibility. There are a lot of people in your neighborhood that would probably think the same thing. So it also brings a community together. I remember that, um, it was the strangest thing. Living in, I was living in New York, and there was a strike, and 
Was it the taxi strike? I don't remember now, but to go from Brooklyn, to go over the bridge, you needed to have more than two people, something like that. And all of a sudden, we were filling up the car with four people, so it would be like two strangers or three strangers in a vehicle, and we were all commuting together. I think it was during a strike. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, please. But um, it brought a community together. I mean, people did this all the time. And um, it still happens on a daily basis in different parts of the world where, um, like, for instance, the HOV lane, there are cities in the in the United States where uh, people uh, know where to gather and then uh, drivers will come and get you. And I don't know how safe that is, but um, it truly does happen. So uh, more money toward gas. Um, what about making less trips? I know that um, I go to the store late at night sometimes, sometimes just to get out of the house, but um, do we really need to go somewhere four times a day, um, drive, you know, equivalent of 15 miles or whatever when um, we can plan our trips more wisely and perhaps make a, a once a week trip or twice a week trip rather than four times a day? Well, I'm exaggerating, but you get my idea. Um, another thing is, I don't know how many of you uh, remember when I had the flu this spring, well, yeah, this winter, um, I was complaining about uh, generic brands versus, uh, you know, the, the full name, the name brand, and I'm a big user of name brand items. Well, what about going generic? What about you know, shopping more thriftly. Um, there are also grocery stores that are discount stores and um, like Aldi's for instance. Um, when's the last time you went and visited a discount grocery store like that? You can save quite a bit of money and um, perhaps, um, you know, do a lot of your shopping. I'm sure you can't do all of your shopping at such a store, but however, um, it can stretch your dollar. Um, and my last idea is how about enjoying a free outdoor activity? I know that this summer um, thousands of dollars are going to be spent by going to the beach, going to amusement parks, um, going um, on grand vacations, um, but what about taking a bicycle out and just enjoying the day with your family or uh, a nice walk in a state park? Um, instead of going on a grand vacation, why not spend a couple of weekends at your local state park camping? Going back to camping, going back to um, the simple enjoyable things. Um, I have great memories of camping as a child and I camped in my early 20s but haven't gone since. Well, is it because, you know, now I'm going to Vegas or to um, Disney World or uh, to Europe and I've forgotten about the, the quaint, you know, beauty of our landscape and just enjoying that, uh, hearing the crickets um, at night in a, a different place, seeing a, a snow-capped mountain, um, visiting some of the historical uh, sites of our rich <laughs> countryside um, of America. Why don't we do something like that? I mean, you're going to talk about having, you know, a less out-of-pocket and perhaps a more enriched vacation or, you know, 
you're not waiting in line for Mickey for four hours. You're laughing and giggling and, you know, roasting marshmallows. Anyway, more money for gas. Bye for now.